Hi, I'm Michael Serv and I'm here on the island of Crete, which is part of Greece, and I'm at the Palace of Kosnos. Now, interestingly about this palace, this palace uh, has been around for a long, long time. Uh, archaeologists believe that around 6000 BC was when this area was first settled. Uh, it became the cultural and spiritual center of Greece, uh, and the palace was first built before uh, destroyed. Uh, the second palace was built sometime between 1400 and 1700 BC. So there's a lot of old ruins here. You can walk around here. Uh, it's a sprawling complex, but it's amazing because you can walk up and down stairways that are 4,000 years old on original stone. There's original clay pipes. Uh, you can see the throne room of the king and the queen of Minos who are here. Uh, it's a fascinating place to be. And of course, there's a lot of cultural heritage here in Greece. Uh, and you need to come visit the Palace of Kosnos when you're here on the island of Crete. It is amazingly fascinating. Uh, it's hard to somehow for a lot of people to understand that some of the oldest things in Europe are here, like the oldest theater. And they had running uh, water back then. There's an old bathtub from, again, about 1700 BC. Unbelievable and stunning to stand here on this place of incredible history and to see exactly what our forefathers, for lack of a better term, were able to accomplish. But the other reason I'm here on the island of Crete was to explore the area's wines. Now Crete has a wine growing history that dates back 3,500 years and that is a long, long time. Now there are a lot of problems with Greek wines for a long, long time, but here on the island of Crete a resurgence began about 2000, 2001. So now there are a lot of wineries not too far outside of the capital of Crete, which is uh, Irkelion, and that's only about 45 minutes to an hour away. But you can come to the various wineries, you can taste through some of the wines, some of the indigenous varieties that they make, like Mandalari and like uh, Daphne and uh, Vidiano. These are wonderful grape varieties and they actually do very, very well here. So you've got reds, you've got whites, they're indigenous to this region. Plus, once you visit any winery, what will happen is that you will always be offered food. Some of that food is made locally by someone's grandmother, usually, and it is a terrific experience to come here to Crete to try indigenous wines uh, to see exactly what the wine industry is now doing. A lot of young key winemakers making some amazing juice. It's worth coming for that. For more information about the wines of Crete, for information about uh, the palace, do check out my blog, explorecation.blogspot.com.